such a wasteful world, the idea of recycling lessens our guilt. We return to a special series on our plastic problem. The system is totally broken. Look no further than here in Malaysia. By 2030, it's estimated, this could result in more than 100 million tons of plastic waste with nowhere to go. Right now, Australia is stuck in an unsightly and growing recycling crisis. We live in a runaway consumption economy. Like we have all been raised that faster and more convenient is better and more is better. And, um, and now we are faced with mountains of packaging, of convenience items, of things that are single use and never to be used again. And it's, it has turned into a thing that is actually starting to impact our health as well as obviously our environment's health. We cannot ignore the impacts of our consumption because we're seeing them everywhere now. Australia is um, really quite dependent on landfill and on this image that we're good at recycling. And as the Victorian waste recycling crisis showed us in late February, we're not particularly good at recycling, we're really good at transporting our recycling to other countries. Um, so when those countries decide that they don't want our recycling anymore, and fair enough, they have their own recycling to deal with, um, we're stuck because we don't have the infrastructure. What we need is recycling infrastructure on shore. We need to be responsible for our own recycling. Right now, we do quite a lot with cleaning our stuff and sorting our stuff, but then it gets shipped somewhere else. We need the actual ability to take stuff here and turn it into other stuff here. And what that makes, obviously, is jobs. It creates a whole new industry and makes us self-sufficient and not dependent on other countries. It's a data-driven reusable cup initiative at universities. So you get to borrow a reusable cup, borrow a cup, at participating cafes, and then you go around the campus and you return it into one of our borrow cup bins. And we wash it and return it to the cafe. So the issue of waste for me is a really big one and I'm really passionate about it. And the reason why I think waste is the issue that I want to focus on in terms of you know all the environmental issues is because I'm a reasonably tangible person. So it was like very clear to me when you see mounds of waste this is a problem uh, and it was also the first issue in my life that I addressed so I was participating in this program and as part of the program you had to do a personal action so the personal action that I did was to stop using disposable coffee cups and that was only in my second year of uni so like four years ago now so as a result of that action I had an experiential learning process where I then understood okay we can change our own behaviors um, and it was specific to coffee cups so that was the reason I started Borrow Cup. I want to achieve cultural change at university campuses. I think if we can teach young people that there are different systems and processes that we can have in place um, and that they can see a norm where we get rid of waste, when they leave the university environment and they go to their workplaces and into cities, um, they won't accept other alternatives. They, they will think that the norm is waste-free and that that's the environment we should be creating. Hello, I'm Holly and I work for Borrow Cup Cleaning the Cups. Uh, I'm Lockie and I also work for Borrow Cup Cleaning the Cups. Let's go clean them. Yeah.
first what we do is we collect and count the cups from yesterday, so how many were collected and washed. Make sure um, they're all clean as well. Any that are dirty, we will rewash for the next day because we don't want to bring back any cups that aren't actually clean. So it's just a spot check them. So first what we do is we, um, we fill the sink up with warm soapy water and then we'll separate the lids from the cups um, so we can soak the lids separately. So we'll start doing that now. Um, so basically what we do now is scrub the cups after they've soaked for a little bit um, just to get rid of any um, coffee stains on the cups before we put them into the machine. So once the cups are out of the machine, before we dry them, we scan the QR codes on the bottom of the cups. Okay, so we're now going to return the clean cups to Cafe Nesso, um, so let's go. Let's go. At O Week, there was a borrow cup stand um, where they were kind of doing activities and stuff, and to get people involved, introduce people to borrow cup. So I went to that, um, and the team like seemed really like enthusiastic and happy. So like, I was immediately attracted to it, and I'm already interested in like the issues of disposable coffee cups because I study sustainability politics back home. So I've always been quite interested in that. Um, so that's kind of how I got involved. I think. Um it's very important to combat the recycling issue that we have and obviously the war on waste was a massive influencer um, in shifting people's mentality last year so I think that between that and knowing a couple of people that volunteered here last year it really sort of pushed me to come and do my bit. I feel like Borough Cup's quite a new um, university kind of project and because I'm an exchange student like from seeing the results here, like we really want to bring it back to Warwick and like other universities. So it's definitely something that could be scaled up and at different universities like already seeing the success of the project here. I definitely think that there, there does need to be more, uh, especially considering how easy this is to use for um, the people using Borough Cup and for the volunteers and everyone else involved. Um, and it's actually almost going to work out better for businesses as well because they don't have to buy in heaps of cups and things like that. So I think that if we can reuse stuff where we can um, and reduce the waste then we definitely should have more initiatives like this. I just want to push everyone to use it as well and <laughs> um, just if you, if you can't bring a keep cup to uni or anything like that then you can definitely get around borrow a cup and even if you have to walk an extra 10 metres I think that in the long run it'll be worth it so that we don't have so much pollution around the world. <laughs>